Hey everyone, how are you doing? It is Tuesday. I know it's not the normal day to talk to you, but I wanted to um, put up a video about the final and just chat with you a little bit about it um, so that you can have a better understanding of, um, of what we're doing. And I've talked with a lot of you about it, but I'm sure there's some of you out there who um, still would like some more information. So for our final for our class, um, it's a two-part final. And one of the portions of the final is the unit plan. Um, and so the unit plan um, for the final, I believe should be about a four week plan. So a part of a course um, that you would design um, that you would want to teach. And you can pick what grade level that that would be. So it could be anywhere from kindergarten, the little guys, um, up through college. Uh, and I would probably pick the grade that you were thinking that you wanted to be working with. And then I would design curriculum around that grade. Sometimes people think that they're going to just create curriculum for like reading or writing. And that's true. We, we are focusing on reading and writing in our class. But I think sometimes the way that it works better is to think about a theme. So my... Um, example for this, and I've talked with some of you about it, so it might be boring for a few of you, is to think about a, a theme for a classroom that you might want to address and, and how that theme could maybe um, work with multiple portions of the standards um, that you could play around with. So for example, say you were teaching a first grade class. Um, maybe you could do a unit on butterflies. And in that unit, you could read Hungry, Hungry Caterpillar. And then maybe they could do art regarding drawing caterpillars or butterflies. Maybe they could um, have um, storytelling time, right? Maybe you could even do um, certain math questions or math um, with uh, butterflies or caterpillars. So thinking about in those terms of like, here's this kind of unit and here's how I would address reading and writing in it. That's one way that you could go about um, working on your plan. I'm thinking that this unit plan might be four weeks. Um, it could also, in, it should also include materials, readings, um, assessments, uh, maybe writing, depending. I mean, it, you could um, think about even a um, college level course or a high school course, right? Um, we're going to look at um, a certain theme and then you're going to have them read a book or you're going to have them um, look at different materials. Um, so thinking about what those things would require in that unit. And, ha and then you also too want to think about how much time it would take. So this is four weeks and I would maybe spend a half an hour or 30 minutes where I would break it up in these ways. I'm thinking of a curriculum plan that you would want to, um, to maybe submit or use possibly in a job interview. So you want to be taking into consideration standards. Now I'm not going to be checking to make sure you have the standard for each thing that you're going over, but you might want to include certain standards. You'd want to maybe point to that in a job interview if you were um, if you were interviewing um, that you ha had awareness of what things needed to be done. So that could be one way that you could do that. Um, and then the other thing I've been thinking a lot about and I've shared with some of you is that I think it might be smart at this point to be thinking about your courses not only in a face-to-face -face fashion, but also in some kind of multimodal or online fashion like Google Classroom. Um, it looks like um, remote learning is with us for a while. Um, and over the years now, we've had several times where we've had to implement it. So I think that we might want to start thinking in those terms. I think it'd be really maybe useful on a job interview to, to think about, oh, I could also do this form in this multimodal or online or asynchronous format if I needed to. So those are some thoughts around the unit plan. And a lot of times people right now start thinking about, well, what kind of format do you want it, Kelly? Do you want it in Word? Do you want it in Excel? How do you want it to look? And I'm really actually very open with this. Going back to this idea of multimodal though, you might want to think of something that can be viewed or looked at electronically. You guys know I like to use Wix, so websites are good. There's Wix, there's um, so many other different um, uh, 
websites that you could use for curriculum. There's also Google Classroom, right? There's Prezi. There's lots of different ways that you could formulate to build the curriculum. Word, Excel. Um, there's um, lots of choices. And I want you to use a platform that you feel comfortable with. So I do not feel like I need to force you into one platform or another. Um, so you should be thinking about how you want to present that unit plan. The second part of the final is what I call a pedagogical response. And the pedagogical response is a two-page double-space paper that should have a works cited page that tells me why you made the choices you made for your curriculum plan. And I'm hoping and thinking that it will include some of the theory that we've read in our classroom, right? So for example, um, I read the article by Diane Kokari on um, uh, I, we, we want to work with our friends, right? And that informed my practice of putting them in groups to do this project, right? You can see where I'm going. So the two-page pedagogical response should use the theory in the class to support the ideas and the scaffolding of your curriculum. So that's how I'm thinking those two things work. We're working on them now, right? But they're both due... Um, by Friday of finals week at 5 p.m. So if you have any questions about the final and you want to talk to me uh, some more about it, um, go ahead and send me an email and I'll be happy to respond to you. I've also been meeting with people via Zoom, so if you want to meet me um, on a one-on-one -on -one and talk about what your plan is, we can do that also. I hope this helps. I hope you're having a good day and I'll talk with you soon. Bye.